Hello friendly advice again. Um, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing. Please do forward my video to fa your family and friends and subscribe to get different different tips. Uh, today I'm doing something very different. So I'm gonna be doing uh, immunity booster soup for you. Uh, and I will be using a product called the Bullet. Bullet is um, a mixy, like a blender that is very, very good. I've had it for four or five years and I've been using it for, to make smoothies for my kids. And I also grind various chutneys in there. And now I've been using it for my soup because it really grinds it so finely that you don't even need to strain your soup. So it's an excellent product for that. So let's get started. So the soup I'm making today, you will need um, some fresh ingredients and I will be adding few things that you might not have heard of or might have heard of that boost your immunity. So if you are in a place where it's um, long winters or mild winters or whatever, but it's very good to have in your freezer. So I make uh, some soup, I freeze it. It lasts us maybe two to three weeks and it's just, it is really, really, really healthy. Very, very easy to do as well. So I'm gonna give you the ingredients that I've chopped up. I'll show you right now, okay? Just hold on. So here in the big bowl, I have uh, chopped up like large size. Um, I have, uh, first of all, I got about five carrots, peeled it, chopped it. I got four tomatoes in there. I have one squash that I have chopped, peeled it and chopped it. I have two onions and a big piece of uh, gar uh, ginger and about four to five cloves of garlic in there. Then I added one teaspoon of turmeric, which is an Indian spice. It's also called haldi sometime. And some black pepper, maybe one teaspoon and two teaspoons of salt in there. Uh, I'm gonna boil it all of this into a cooker or you can use a big pot, whatever works for you. I just add water to it. I don't add any uh, vegetable broth or anything. I do it from scratch. So I add water uh, to when I'm getting it all boiled uh, in my cooker. I usually give uh, two to three whistles and it's ready. So, so I fill up my cooker with some water. Maybe I only fill about three cups of water in there, okay? I know you might be thinking she hasn't measured it, but I know based on the level I have, I don't add too much because I wanna keep it concentrated for the freezer. And when I'm making it later, fresh, that's when I heat it up. Uh, that's when I add more water, depending on the consistency I want, okay? So into the cooker, I will add all these vegetables right here in there. So all the tomatoes, the pumpkin, the carrot, onion, ginger, garlic, everything goes in there, okay? So it's very, very easy to do. So all you have to so here are my ingredients in the cooker. I put it in two different cookers because they're more quantity and my cookers are small. And I, as I mentioned, I didn't add too much water because the vegetables will be releasing their own water. So I let it uh, boil for two to three whistles and then I let it cool down before I use. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to grind it. So this is what I'm gonna use. It's my magic bullet. So this is really, really good uh, to grind your soup so you don't have to strain it even, okay? So I highly uh, recommend it and I'm gonna show you uh, how I'm gonna use it and the, you can see how smooth the soup come out and it's a great product to have in your kitchen. It doesn't take too much space, as you can tell how small it is. 
and for a family of four it's perfect for grinding and everything and if it's a bigger family just do the, the, twice what the work I guess so my vegetables are all boiled up in the cooker so I use two to three whistles and they're good so you can see they're mushy so now I'm gonna add them to my magic bullet jar right here and I'm gonna fill it up and just notice how little water I added so if you're gonna freeze it I would recommend just adding very little water at the bottom because the vegetables always have their own vet, uh, water that comes out so you don't need to add much because I'm gonna freeze it it's gonna be a bit concentrated and then when I make the soup I just take out one little box and then I heat it up, add a little butter and salt and pepper, and it's all good to go. So I have it in the jar. I'm going to close it up. See, it's very, very easy. The jar is very... Sorry, I have a... One hand, I have my camera. And one hand, I'm trying to close this. Okay, so I got this going. And then once it's all locked up, I'm going to... So I put the jar on the magic bullet and then all I do is press it. Um, now after grinding for just like, a, I would say 30 seconds, no more than that, look how good the consistency is. It's so smooth, you don't need to strain it whatever seed of the that tomato is all gone in there so your soup is literally re ready to go all you have to do is when you're ready to eat it add a little bit of water and make it as thin as you like and just add salt and pepper and a little butter and you are gonna enjoy this soup really really well trust me about that and your immunity is going to go so high that you will say, really thank me for doing this video, okay? So here's the end product of the soup. I've added some salt and pepper and I've capped it not very thin, okay? Little, uh, you know, there is thickness. So I, you know, when we you eat, you really feel like you're getting filled. And I serve it with... Uh, croutons like bread croutons with it or just have some garlic bread and it's a very good lunch to have and uh, you can also add any Italiano spice that you might have and it's absolutely fantastic so thanks again for watching the immune booster soup making recipe using your magic bullet I wish you all the best and please do subscribe to my channel and send me comments or any questions you might have. I will uh, put the recipe in the comments below for your um, building your immunity in this winter. All the best. Thank you.